Hello, here we go. My mic is working right away without any help. It works. It is adjusted. Should I adjust it more? No. Uh, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's had a good week so far. Um, hey, what's up? How's it going, Preston? What's up, Ethel? Hello, Eva. Cutie. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. So, we are going to paint something tonight. I don't know if you guys remember, but like 100 years ago, before the holidays, we started on a like a tree creature painting, and uh, I think we're gonna work on that uh, a little bit more tonight. Coldness is upon us. Yeah, it's actually kind of warm here today, so the snow is really just kind of wishful thinking. Or not, not wishful thinking. That's not true, but it's just because it is winter or it's supposed to be winter. So um, let's see. I was just in the middle of rendering some stuff here. Oh uh, boy, I gotta wake up. Maybe I'll do some jumping jacks. Ah! Man. All right. Um, well, let's uh, let's start the painting. It's 18 degrees there. That's crazy. It's like 50 here. Uh, I went out to the grocery store earlier without a jacket on. So. Is it supposed to snow there? In Pennsylvania? Let's see, is this done? So we already rendered this out and I started painting it a little bit, but I think I'm just going to start over with a new shot because I don't really... I think I can do better as far as the shot goes. Let's see, which one of these is today? Today, today, today. The little guy with the berries, yep. Something doesn't look great about that. Let me just render this one more time. It should only take a sec. Why does it look so weird once I render it? It's strange. So yeah, we already started on this a little bit before the holiday, but I made a few adjustments right before the stream and I'm gonna start over. We didn't really get that far into it. This is a, this shot's a little bit more dynamic. And yeah. I think it does a little bit more of the work as far as the camera goes. Let's see. This one today at 602, that's the one. Huh, it's weird. I guess I'm just losing my mind a little bit. Nope. I want all this over here. All right, so like before, when we worked on this before, we did. The 3D, some 3D modeling based on just a 
quick thumbnail sketch. And so tonight we rendered it out and this is gonna be like the starting point for the painting. This is called a clown layer, which means that I can, there's a, you can, you can select by, by color in Photoshop. And so this is a way to easily select different parts of the painting if we need it. That's what that is. So there you go. Got some new headphones. I got tired of those big ones because they were hurting my head after like an hour. So I started using my little ones. All right, let's start out with, first I want to find, I want to find a really tall tree. See if we can find a shot like this, like this, to go by for our forest. See if we can get a little bit of the um, this canopy st type stuff going on with this guy. So how's everybody doing? Tell me some stories. Um, I don't know if I've talked to some of you since the new year started. How's everybody's year going so far? Hopefully going pretty good. If not, that's okay too. Tell me about it. It's perfect time to complain. I'm going to turn all that off just to, so it doesn't slow my computer down. So maybe there are more trees. Like uh, doing this. And maybe the sky is like up there. It starts right there. We, talk, we talked a lot about what color the sky was going to be on this alien planet last time, but I'm going to start out with just this color this time, and then we'll, I think we'll tweak the colors as we go. And then... Preston, are you still next door? You still closing up the shop? All right, so on this other planet, we're, I think we're, I think here's what I'm gonna do because we we spent a lot of time trying to worry about colors last time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with like earthly colors and then we're going to tweak them one at a time, one part at a time. Um, so you're sick during New Year's, Ethel? That sucks. Driving home, got it. Was Santa good to me? Um, Santa was okay to me, yeah. Santa is um, yeah, Santa was pretty good to me. I 
I guess. This kind of, last couple of Christmases have been like just a little bit weird because of COVID. I hope, I just really hope next year that we're not really still dealing with this shite. Last year I was hoping it would be the only year. Now this year I'm hoping that this year that this is the last year. But still get did get to see the family and stuff, so some of the family. Uh you got it Tuesday. Well that sucks. Sorry to hear that. See, like this is maybe where this would come in handy. Just to do that and that and that and that and that. And that's the trees, all the trees. And I can just color all this in all at once. <clears throat> at least it happened on your vacation, yeah. So you didn't have to take time off work. I guess that's good. I was feeling a little bit um, under the weather for some of the time during vacation. I don't know what was wrong with me. I was just dragging ass. I think I just... Um, I really don't know what happened. I think I just... Might, might have just... Eating too much crappy food or something. So keep that's what I the only explanation I can come up with. Or I just had something that lasted a couple minutes and then was done. A couple days. Well, at least we're all okay now. Right? Let's see, what I really need to do is figure out, kind of, in some ways, figure out this this perspective, this type of perspective, because we're looking up at the sky. It's a little bit weird, because that means our eye line is really in just an arbitrary place. I guess if we're looking up at this guy, so once we figure out the eye line, we could maybe even do Yeah, actually, we're going to put the eye line like up here, I guess. Because if the eye line was different, it would be more like. If the eye line was somewhere in the middle of the horizon, if the horizon was like up in the sky like this, then the, the trees would be doing this as they go up kind of like around around where the eye line is they'd be getting bigger and then they would kind of just form a circle up there in the sky but I think this makes more sense and if this was the case then that really means the eye line is somewhere like it doesn't really matter that much but it does help like the eye line's probably like right there I 
I think. I don't do this kind of perspective a lot. Where you're like looking up at the sky. Does this monkey have a name yet? Um, no, he doesn't. What do you think his name should be? He's from space and I think he's like a sloth. And on this planet, he eats the fruit off this tree and it stains his mouth. That's what I've come up with so far for this guy. So if he does have a name, it might actually be unpronounceable to earth people. If you don't drink enough water during the day because you're used to drinking it, you feel crappy. Yeah, I think maybe that was that sometimes I feel like shit when I wake up and I and a lot of times I chalk it up to being dehydrated for one reason or another. And it usually does have something to do with what I ate the day before. Like if you eat something that sucks all the water out of your body, I don't like uh, I can tell when I eat a really carb heavy meal. In other words, something full of bread, really, because carbs, they soak up a lot of water in your body. So I think that if I like eat pizza or something and uh, don't drink a lot of water and just like eat crappy for a couple days in a row, that probably does have something to do with it, like dehydration. Let's see, what else can we tell about this guy? If you're looking up at the sky. Nothing much really. I guess it's pretty much just we can we can make this guy interesting with some clouds. Definitely. And these, these are supposed to be like, this is part of the perspective too. Hey, how's it going? Got, go team crypto. How's it going? Um, how many layers is my average 2D piece? Um, it really depends. There's a lot. There's a lot of layers, usually. I just use as many as I need. But I don't like to use more than I need. Like, eventually it gets too confusing and weird and annoying, so I smash the layers down like I just did to this background. I just flattened all this stuff down. But then, you know, at the end, it's all one layer because it's a JPEG or whatever. Butters? Um, I don't know. Butters, maybe. That's already taken though. That's like, uh, you know, South Park or something. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of Dune, kind of. By the way, have you guys seen that new Dune movie? Yet? I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. Actually, I, I mean, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, uh, they're splitting it, splitting it into two parts, which is, you know, I, I think that that's fine. You know, in my day, in the old days, it was like, you would make a movie, and if it did well enough, you would make the sequel. Now they're just kind of planning on making movies, like two movies now. And, um, you know, and that's okay and stuff, but it's like, I still feel like the movie should feel like a movie. It should have a beginning, middle, and end. And I'm not sure if Dune pulled that off. I think at the end, you're just kind of left like, okay, I guess I have to wait two years for the new movie to come out. Like I said, the movie's good, but you know, telling you, you should tell a complete story in your movie, even if you know that there are going to be two of them. That's just my opinion. Um, broth. I like broth. Negative bite the butt, the book for my kids. That's cool. The Dune book. I never read the Dune book. You know, one of the most famous sci-fi books, I think. Probably why all the hype for the movie. Did you guys, did, um, did anybody else see it? You hate it, I hate it when you are hanging. Um, do you mean you hate it when you're left hanging? Maybe that's what you mean. You have the Dune book to read. Yeah, I, I would maybe like to read it sometimes, but sometime. But I also don't know if I ever will, just because I've seen the movie. So now it's like, yeah, I don't know if I would do that anymore. I might just um, read something else instead. I'm sure that the, you know, the book is more to it and stuff, and there are always debates. As to how true to the book, true to the movie, or true to the book the movie is, etc. so. When they leave you hanging, yeah, I mean, Even if they do a even if they do a cliffhanger type situation, um, they should still tell a s complete story with a beginning, middle, and end, and then they can do the cliffhanger. Like they can, I think what it's done best is usually when they tell a complete story and then they start to build up the second story if they're going to do it like that. So that way you might know a little bit about what's happen going to happen next movie. But this one was just kind of like. They just didn't really do that. They did it more like. Um, like I said, where it's like they just knew there was going to be a second movie. So they just stopped the story. At least that's why I've. What I felt like they did. Still pretty enjoyable. Sometimes there's stuff in the book, not in the movie. Yeah. Definitely. I just haven't done that in a while where I just like read a book of a movie I've already seen. I just don't do it that often. But hey, that's cool. Um... 
yeah, probably missing out on some little extra stuff by doing that. But I, I really don't, I don't read that much. I was reading for a while there. I, I had a pretty good thing going where I was reading before bed and um, it was really helping me like it's much better. Reading before bed is much better than like staring at your phone or something. So, I mean, I have stopped looking at my phone before bed, which I think is good for anybody's mental health. But um, I don't always read right before bed. I'd rather, I mean, I draw before bed usually, just sketching, practicing stuff. Uh, that's when I do studies and stuff like that and really practice a lot of things that I suck at, like hands. One of these days I'm going to be really good at hands and it's because I practice every night before I go to bed. So it's better for me to like have something on the TV or have something like music or even an audiobook going in my head, in my earphones. Uh, so I can concentrate, I can concentrate on both at once or whatever. All right. Um, this feels like they're in a forest. There's a lot more to work to do, apparent, obviously, especially, yeah, there's not really any like value, anything really interesting going on yet, but it at least feels like the, the perspective starting to be there, I think. I think these tree shapes will kind of, once I do the branch, so I got to do some leaves on this branch and stuff. Once I do these branches that are going to look like alien planet branches, then I'll have more ideas on what the shape of those trees will be back there. Yeah, I'll have amazing hands one day. I've seen some improvement. It's not as much as a struggle every time. I mean, my hands might not look great. Um, and it's still probably more of, the, of a struggle than I, than I um, want it to be, but... Um, I'm getting a little more confidence with them. It's not like a, it's not like the worst day in my life every time I have to draw a hand anymore. So that's cool. It's just one of the worst days in my life. I used to just like put it off. Like I would do something weird, like clean my whole house for three days instead of just going in there and trying to start drawing the damn hand. Everything else sucks. I don't know. I don't know how well that speech to text thing is working out for you, Eva. Every week, I've, I've gotten pretty good at interpreting what you mean, so that's good. After all this time, maybe one day the technology will be better, and it'll be like. You know, I'm really just, I'm just playing with you, but yeah, I'm not always sure what chats mean. It's like a running joke. All right, let's start giving this guy some kind of features. What's his name? Um, Somebody said something sloth. Slothy the sloth. I've got cats meowing at me. But thank you for the compliment, Eva. I'm sorry I was talking shit. But... I'm not very good at taking compliments. As you might have noticed. If 
Oh yeah, I have a new chat command. Zlog. All right. Now I know that wasn't a typo, right? You meant to. You meant to type Zlog. Definitely. I knew this branch was going to cause me a problem. I want it to feel like he's hanging on the end of a branch and it's like bending. Probably. I had another these branches are definitely gonna have to be separated out from the background let's just go ahead and take this all group it and make it darker to make it feel like he's in the foreground in the shade Zlog. Okay. Oh yeah, I got you. That's a that's a pretty cool name. Zlog. And then we have Goth. Goth the Sloth. Speedy. We should be writing these down. Check this out. What are you doing, dude? Pokey. You're gonna you might have to leave. You might have to leave, buddy. We might have to ask you to please leave until you've gone and sobered up. Oh, you guys never answered it, or Eva, did you guys watch the new Dune yet? Or are you waiting to finish the book? I think the kid that plays the main character or whatever is good. Everybody's good in the movie. I haven't seen the older one in a long time. You guys remember the older one, right? With David Lynch and Sting was in it. Yeah, it was Sting. Sting was in it.
Hey, Foothill Rounders, thanks for the new sub. Why is the why is my alert cut off? Son of a gun! One of these days, these alerts will be right. I don't know why it's cut off. I can't do anything right now because I'm gonna end up ruining my whole thing. Kind of vibe into the last music. Yeah, the um. There have been a few good songs on tonight. Chip tune. Uh, Michelle. Uh, I was going to work on. Your new uh, your new album cover in the next couple streams. So next week. Well, I wanted to talk. I wanted to. Um, there are a couple of people in the stream tonight that we're 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 thinking about doing a stream soon with um, talking about NFTs. Non fungible tokens. But I was going to say, Preston, I think that we maybe, I don't know, maybe I should talk about this off screen, <laughs> but whatever. I'm an open book. Um, maybe think about, Preston, maybe think about us possibly rescheduling it on a night when you can be there. Just a thought. I just think it would be funner with all three of us. But again, we don't have to do it like that. And I wonder if we should do it on Twitch or not, or if we should do it on YouTube. Anyway, get in touch with me and we'll talk about it. Um, Swain, Preston, you must be way behind. I think maybe it's because you're on, you're driving. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Be careful driving, by the way. Tree creature. Two. Swayze. I like Swain. Okay, Swain. You said Swain, and I thought Swayze, and it might be Swayze. What if, what if this alien creature's name is Swayze? Kind of like that. And I'm the boss, really, at the end of the day, aren't I? <laughs> I'm evil. But broth, cloth, froth, sloth. And by the way, he's he's got six legs. He's sloth-like. He's like an alien. He's like a s alien, sloth-like alien creature. Maybe not sloth though. But we are going to use the sloth to um, design him. Speaking of which, maybe we'll do a little bit about his face. Swayze, swaying and eating berries. Yeah, Swayze. And if we were going to stick with the sloth thing, Swayze the sloth, that doesn't sound bad either. Although, not necessarily a, a sloth. Um, a couple weeks ago, we, well, we did put together this, you know, board of a bunch of weird animals that we liked. And I'm just saying sloth, but also because he's climbing around in a tree, but I'm, I also might pull from some of these other guys like this African civet, which looks like a, uh, what a cat raccoon. 
It's like a cat. It's like a raccoon with a cat's body. And it's weird, really weird. And it looks like a, yeah. Kind of like a hyena too. And then here's a sketch of this face, like a real quick sketch. And then here's a sloth. I don't know why every time I look, see that picture of that sloth, I think of like a 70s, 70s rock band. Like this is the, pretty much the bass player for every rock band in the 70s. Racket. He's a racket. Speaking of raccoons. Um, yeah, Michelle, we have to have a little chat quickly. We have to, we've got to have a, have a little chat um, sometime over the next week about to refresh my memory. I mean, I remember the, the basics of the album cover idea, but um, I want to refresh my memory before I go too far down the road. See the pics that you sent for it? Yeah, I, I saw them. I'm not sure if they'll work for this painting, but they're, they're definitely going to be in the reference. This one's really weird. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a spider face. What the F? Wolf spider, which are, is a pretty common spider. So this has been in your house a lot of times. Okay, this is probably, this is probably crawled on your face while you're sleeping. Let me, let me change this to chat. Cause this is important. This is, this has definitely been around your face while you're sleeping. Can I get this to focus? Probably not, but yeah. And then this is the other one, which is like a cool plant. These are tough to show up on camera, but I'm doing my best. Wolf spiders are big. You had one in your hiking boot. I thought that wolf spiders were those ones that kind of jump around the house and they're kind of furry. They're kind of like house spiders, but yeah. Okay. They're like big, big, big uh, outside spiders. They're, pro they're pretty harmless. They just look pretty crazy from close up. Maybe you didn't see their house spiders, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, there are colloquial names of different things, you know? In different parts of the country. What happens? Brown and furry, yep. There are these kinds of spiders around here that... Yeah, I don't know. They like jump, they're jumpy and they are around the house. And I always thought they were wolf spiders, but I could be wrong. They lay eggs in your ears, like, yeah, Ethel, we can always count on you for taking it, taking it a little too far. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get this off my fucking face now, and we'll go back to the painting. They lay eggs in your ears while you sleep. That's not true. Um, sloth scorpion? Yeah, maybe he's got like a little bit of a, I don't know, I think close-ups of insect faces are really cool because anytime anytime you're looking for something like an alien creature type if you ever have the need to design an alien creature um looking at bug faces will give you a lot of inspiration for different kinds of ways that a face could be made because they're so like you know evolved so differently than people you know that they look like aliens but you can still kind of, they're not so alien that you can't like pick out the eyes and the mouth. Yeah. House spiders, were there anywhere in the woods? Near? Yeah. We've got garden spiders here that are really crazy looking, but they're, they're kind of beautiful, but they also look like they're also horror movie spiders because they're giant. They're like gigantic. All right, let me let me do some details in here. I'm going to try to 
after I just complained about hands. I'm going to try to get some hands. Some kind of hands. Okay, let's see this. So have you guys ever heard of um, NFTs? Anybody here? I'm sure you have, um, probably Michelle has, but. We're gonna probably talk about those for a little while on our NFT stream. Probably while I make an NFT. I've been looking into that. I've been looking into how they um, make those NFT collections. You don't understand what they are. Yeah, I get it. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of that out there that people don't really know what they are. There's a lot of people that are kind of skeptical of them because really it's kind of like, I don't know, for a certain segment of uh the internet especially like younger people it's just like you can think of them as collector items just collect like collector cards but digital i think that might help you just kind of conceptualize it but it's uh you know using blockchain technology i don't want to get super nerdy about it though because pretty much for me like what's interesting for me is that as a digital artist, I might be able to sell something that's similar to selling an original, like, you know, like a, um, like an acrylic painter does or an oil painter does. So that's kind of what's attractive to me about them. But we'll be talking a lot more about that at the NFT stream. I tried to buy the lemur. Yeah, I actually made another one since then. Uh, I'm sorry if you weren't able to buy the lemur. I probably did it wrong. Um, so yeah, that's that's NFTs. And actually, I did I made another one out of the cat Dracula, but I haven't listed it for sale yet. So shit, I don't know if I should do this on. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, Here's the lemur NFT. So there are five of these available. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. If you couldn't buy this, you had an error about gas. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we could talk about it. Buy costumes for video game characters. Yeah, totally, totally, yeah. And, and probably that type of thing is gonna be more and more prevalent as they start. Um, you can definitely look forward to games that are tied into crypto NFTs. You can definitely look forward to games that have like a, an economy of NFT economy where you can buy stuff like that. But I've just been making my paint, turning my paintings in NFTs. And, you know, I don't really have a, an audience yet for this or anything, but, but I did this cat Dracula, put a little bit of animation in there. So I minted that one, which is what you call doing an NFT. So, so even if, so yeah, on one hand, it's like, it's, it's not just a picture. You think, oh, okay, well you can just download this really, but it wouldn't be the same thing because the NFT is locked into a place in history in the blockchain. And it's got like, so it's pretty much like, that's what gives it its authenticity. It's in unalterable. So it's pretty much, you're buying a token and this is tied to the token, but. I mean, I honestly don't understand 100% of it either. All I know is that I would be, at this point, I'd be stupid not to look at it because um, a lot of artists are doing this and uh, and I think it might be a good idea for me to do it just as a digital artist.
Sounds cool. But it's definitely... Yeah, going to be something that... Especially people that are like online a lot. And there's, there's being used for different, th people are d using it in different ways. Like there are people that are doing, you know, pretty much they'll, they'll generate like a, a file with a bunch of different versions of a character, you know, and some of them he'll be wearing a little hat or in some of them he'll be, um, wearing a different shirt or have a different expression on his face and they'll generate those and then sell them as kind of like one-of-a-kind Twitter avatars, stuff like that. Um, only begotten irre 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 reproduce. I don't, I don't know if that's a word or if I just can't s say it. Yeah, you can't reproduce them digitally. Like, they're, they're one-of-a-kind. Part of me is like, not skeptical, but I just, I just know that like, I don't really have the rep to necessarily give much people. I also don't know how to use Twitter and it seems like you uh, need to be able to be on Twitter and be in those spaces to get some kind of reputation. Just talking, just uh, thinking out loud here. All right, this is not really working very well. This is... But that also might be what you call a self-limiting belief, right? Go team crypto. Um, Yeah, I'm going to be putting some more art up there and I should really be a better salesman, right? I should be like, this art is going to be worth one bazillion dollars very soon. It's one of these things that's super gigantic in, in some circles. And then, and I have a feeling it's only a matter of time before it, everybody knows that it is. It's probably going to get on people's nerves. They're going to hear about it so much. Is it going to go the way of the beanie baby? Probably not. I don't know. It's also like kind of an investment thing. A lot of people are buying stuff. Some people are buying stuff because it's cool. Kind of like the microtransactions thing like Michelle was talking about. But sometimes, um, sometimes people are kind of like spec, you know, speculating on on the value of it going up, kind of like you know, like buying stocks. So there's different reasons why different people use them, and I think it's it's definitely going to go more into the, or there's definitely going to be more being done in like the microtransaction type of thing, like whatever game assets and shit like that. Because those are usually kind of affordable and, you know, anybody can make them and they don't necessarily have to appreciate in value because they're, they have a use in some ways. So, kind of the same, but different. Also, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about either. I've just watched a few YouTube videos. Get what I genuinely, genuinely want. Yeah, we talked about that. See, I came out, I did the second um, issue of my comic last week and came out with it, posted it on Webtoon. And, um, 
that one was like it was like a lot of work to get it in shape to put online which i have a feeling there's going to be more like that um Yeah, the episodes are short, but I have a feeling like in a few months there'll be enough episodes on there where you'll where you you know new people that come to the comic new uh, will have stuff to read. But right now, the just because of the amount of work that goes into each episode, they they're kind of short. But I'm pretty proud of how they're turning out so far, to be honest. And those who have found it and read it seem to think it's pretty good. So, you know, they seem to like it, so that's cool. Time to get rid of some layers here. Oh, did you guys read? Did you guys read it? That's cool. Thanks. How old's your son? Randomized generator. Yeah, I actually um, the. I know I'm skipping all over the place, guys, but. Yeah, there's um. There's a way to do that, and I actually looked it up how to do it earlier today. So I kind of, it's using tools that I'm familiar with, and Michelle is familiar with. Like it uses Node and Python scripts to. So pretty much what you do is you do you make a layered Photoshop file, and then you can make all these different variations on the same character, like I said. And then you export all those layers out as transparent PNGs and then you can run these scripts and it'll stick it'll like randomly stick them all together and then you can make like a thousand different iterations of the same kind of um, same designs and then yeah upload them all as NFTs some of the collections are really taken off and being worth a lot of money but Not old enough to read it, yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. I mean, it's it's parental supervision. Eleven years old. I mean, um, yeah, there are cuss words in it, but also this probably might not be. He might not understand some of it because it's definitely yeah. definitely deals with adult themes. It's not your grandma's comic book, whatever that means. All right, I feel like I've been noodling around with some stuff here. I need to change something. In the background. To make it pop a little more. I think that kind of works. You want to put t TVs on your wall? Yeah, I think that that'll also be pretty cool. Like, I, I, you know somebody's working on that. There are a lot, for somebody that, um, I don't know, wants to invent some things, there are some, there are some inventions that could happen soon. Like, I could see how you could authenticate with your crypto wallet and have like a NFT, you know, you could buy like a, like a TV. But it's a it's a picture frame, but it's like a digital picture frame, and then you can hang it up, and it'll display your collection of NFTs, either whatever, whatever, however you wanted to do it, like a slideshow or whatever. I could totally see that. They probably already make them, and I also don't even know if you. Yeah, I think I think it would be cooler if you, if the, if there was some like official NFT viewer, so you had to like authenticate. 
and really show that you were it was yours anyway i feel like I'm, i feel like we're getting i'm getting a little too nerdy with nfts right now we'll get more nerdy about that next week i mean we can still talk about it but i'm sure that i don't know just let me know if i'm getting too weird Yeah, it's like the whole thing's interesting, but as also I just can't help but be a little bit skeptical because I've been uh, just trying to get people to get interested in what I'm doing or a lot of people, you know, more people. It's really hard to reach people. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not like crybabying about it. I'm just saying like it is. It's hard to reach people. Maybe I'm crybabying about it. Maybe I'm a crybaby. Attack on Titan and here my Hero Academia. Yeah, Attack on Titan is one that I'm familiar with. My Hero Academia is definitely one I've heard of, but that's kind of like a new school one. Probably need to at least check those out. Am I missing chat messages? No. Quickly, I think I'm going to see if I can add a little bit more design to this model. Let me sketch it in a different color. Put it on top. Doing a puzzle? That's awesome. Are you doing like a jigsaw puzzle, Michelle? By the way, I missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't talked to you in a while. Hope Dan's doing okay too. Tell Dan I said hello. Let's see, what do sloth arms look like? Make a small poster with your art and put it in your car back window. That's a good idea. <laughs> cool. Tell him I said hi back. One more time. One more round. I finally kind of like, uh, what's the word, um, resigned, n not gave up, just surrendered. I just surrendered the idea of like, yes, I have to figure out a way to be okay with social media. And that's cool. That's fine. But I just don't know. I'm like a robot, like a, not really a robot. Uh, how can I put this? Like, I kind of am like a one trick pony. Like, I only really care about a couple things. One of them being art. Or the projects that I'm working on. Um, and so when I'm on social media, it's not that I'm selfish. I mean, I love looking at other people's art and stuff. It's just that I just don't know what else to say except for, hey, I've been working on this comic because, I mean, if, you know, it says right there, like, what have you been up to? You know, it, it gives you a box and it says, hey, what, what's going on? And usually what's going on with me is that I'm working on a freaking comic book. Or I'm um, working on a painting. So I feel kind of spammy just saying that all day, but.
It's an age old thing. Just the same old thing. Spammy. Spammy is the creature's name. <laughs> spammy, the spammy, the Swayze sloth. What color am I painting the monkey? I'm not sure yet. I think he's probably going to be kind of exotic. I think probably what I'm going to do. See, like we we still got a good little ways to go in this book in this bad boy, but I'm just. What I'm doing right now is I'm I'm drawing, re, kind of redrawing this um, model, this 3D model, to see if I can get some more, like a little bit more, um, let's see, how to explain this. Okay, so when you're doing the model, like getting a good shape like this is, like, it doesn't feel like it's worth the time. So what I do is I just kind of, do the model, get it 30% of the way there. And then I bring it over here. And when, once I bring it into the painting, then I try to, or what I've been trying to do is redraw stuff and give it a little bit more of that, give it a little more of that Jaworski. I'll put a little more of that Jaworski on it. Yeah, sloths have six inch long nails and I think what we do need to give them give them some nails. Spammy the spammy the Swayze sloth. S spammy the Swayze space sloth. I think it's the same as what you do Twitch, you have to form relations with people. Yeah. You know, I'm not I'm not really I'm not an unfriendly person. I just don't really know how to Cold, like a lot of, like, okay, for Twitch, for instance, like I go into a chat and I'm like, ugh. What do I say? You know, sometimes. I, I can have a good reason to chime in sometimes. I mean, I'm not completely inept at social stuff, I will say. But I also, like, uh, and Twitch is a little bit different than like Twitter because Twitter people are just kind of vomiting their opinions out all day long. And mostly I'm just trying not to lose my effing minds when I'm on Twitter. Twitch is a lot different than that. Twitch is honestly 98% just good vibes all the time. So... All right, I'm going to give this sloth some, some nails, but don't love how they're looking. All right, man. Thanks for coming by. We'll be talking soon. Everybody say goodnight to Go Team Crypto. Please. So what I was going to say is this guy, like the color is going to be, I'm, I'm going to, I might look for like an exotic animal and make him some kind of pattern, like an exotic animal.
So what else is going on, guys? I'm like, uh... I'm just painting. I guess this will be look more like a branch if I do this. Dragonfly colors. Putting art in your name. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I should do that. I should make my handle or all my names Dan Jaworski art. Another thing that's been coming up lately is kind of like, I don't know. Well, I've got, I've got like a different Twitter handle for the comic. I don't know if splitting myself in two is... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. I probably won't ever figure it out, and uh, that's it. And then I'll just be done one day. My time will be up one day. And I'll still be like, What do I do? That's not really what I sound like. I'm just in one of those moods tonight. <laughs> also, I keep asking Michelle questions and she's trying to do a puzzle. I'm sorry, Michelle. Dan Art Jaworski, yep. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to change my first name literally to Art. Art Jaworski. Actually, we had an Uncle Art, didn't we? Artie? I put this red in here so it would show up and now I have to get rid of it because it doesn't belong here. You guys know how this goes. It usually gets pretty sloppy before it gets... got five of them five uncle arts yeah I thought that was kind of like a name that's pretty big in our family we've got uh, names that kind of travel through our family Eva well Eva we have a couple Eva's we have a lot of Ethel's there's a lot of Ethel's in my family Um, art is another one, isn't it? Charlie is another one. Charlie. Helen. We had Nan Ethel. Yeah, that's, I guess it's kind of a... Well, my grandmom had seven sisters. No, she was one of seven and one brother. And uh, 
So her two daughters that you're familiar with, my aunts, were, are named after two of her sisters. That's also kind of a family. Those are kind of family names. All the ants name their kids after each other, yeah. All right, let's start playing with some colors here. I know this guy isn't going to be bright orange. These colors are coming out the circus. Don't know what's going on here. Let's see, let's just merge all this together. Because why the hell not? Sometimes you just have one of those nights where things are a little bit. Sometimes you have those nights, they're few and far between. Sometimes I have those days where everything kind of looks cool as soon as I do it. It's usually after I've been painting for hours and hours. Sometimes you just do it the hard way, man. I'm a third. I am a third. Clamp it begets. Yeah, my, my grandmother's maiden name is Clamp it. So, the Clamp it sisters. I don't know if I ever told you this, Michelle, but you might be interested that, that several of the members of my family have been in bands. Usually kind of like old-timey, old-timey music bands. Like, I remember when I was little, my Aunt Ethel and my grandmother and more people were in a jug band that practiced at least once in my grandmom's kitchen. And Ethel, did you play the banjo? Was that right? And then my grandmother and her sister Ethel were in a, a duet band where they sang and played old country songs. If I remember, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this. Because I was little. Yeah, I don't know what color this guy should be. So I'm going to, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a color. And then I'm just gonna make this an obvious color that's not ever gonna be right. It's never gonna work, but. That's actually pretty cool, but Probably not. Probably not. Although, it's a pretty cool base color. Definitely looks like a creature not of this world now. Um... Banjo, guitar, but the piano was too heavy to carry. Yeah. My Aunt Ethel 
she plays a lot of instruments. She played a lot of instruments growing up. When I was growing up, piano, guitar, banjo. Um, what's he reaching for? Yeah, so he's like an alien and he's on an alien planet reaching for an alien fruit. And I think these little fruits um, are going to be all over these trees. They're going to be like what, what grows in these trees. So he's kind of like a koala in that he like he eats these fruits in these trees on this weird ass planet, right? And his mouth is going to be stained blue like that. I was just kind of joking about this color, but I also think that it kind of plays this pink color as a, as kind of like a exotic color for this guy, a base color. I think it's kind of, I think it kind of plays. Um, green, brown, and purple. Yeah. Um, well, we've got green in these trees and we've got brown in these trees. So I'm trying to get something that kind of hums along with all that. Although none of these colors are set in stone. Like I said at the beginning, like I think what I'm going to do is kind of start with colors that are, that I don't have to think about a lot. Like the sky on earth is this light blue. And then the um, trees are green. Bark is brown. But then I'm probably going to tweak all these colors to make it feel like an alien planet. To see what we come up with. Yeah, I like this pink, so I'm, I'm just gonna keep this pink uh, until I don't like it anymore. Um, Eva got you a 12-string guitar, so you have to. You have to get your, oh, do you do you you just got a twelve string guitar? That's cool. <clears throat> That's a lot of strings. I guess you just you play them you play them the same. You just play them two at a time, right? So twelve strings, you just tune it. You tune this twelve string just like as another octave, right? So it's E E E A A D D. So it's just really just you're playing two octaves of the same note. That's what a 12 string is, right? Uh, back in the day before TV and phones at the beach, Christmas time every year, sing carols, play guitar and sing. Yep. Grandma would play guitar and sing. Sometimes Pop Pop would sing. His favorite was a song by Jim Reeves. Cool. I do remember some of that from when we were little. A lot of singing, a lot of twanging. All right, let's clean this silhouette up. I think that that will help immensely. If I just clean some of the silhouette up. And also, I'm gonna separate this guy off of the backgrounds. What y'all think of this pink? I think it's a pretty good starting color. It's gonna definitely not be all pink. It's almost purple. Somebody said purple. I think Preston said purple. The calluses on your fingers have to get bigger? Yeah. I mean, the neck's wider, right? It's gotta be to accommodate for 12 more strings. Now, are the octaves higher? Is it an octave higher or an octave lower? In other words, are the 12 extra strings thinner or thicker? The problem, yeah, I don't know what would be better or what would be make more sense because a high E string is pretty thin and a E string is pretty thick. I could look it up, but I want you guys to tell me.
You'd like the burgundy to pink? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think I'll probably put some other colors in here, but... I'm just trying to separate this off the background. Yeah. Okay, it's a higher octave. Got it. Well, we're going to get you set up with a mic up there and uh, get you on this show. Play some 12 string. I've been tempted a couple times to go live and do play a couple st songs of guitar and then just like disappear forever. You never know if that happens, then it might happen one day. songs and 70 songs and it's been fun Bear with me while I do a little bit of clean up here, guys. I'm just trying to get rid of some of this extra funk because I think it's interfering with the overall whether or not the painting is. Like, I can't tell if the painting's working or not right now because of the sloppy silhouettes. I need to tighten it up a bit. Get rid of some of this extra junk. I think that'll help. All right. You have a 12 string that you learn that you got before you learn to play guitar, so you want to try it. Don't want to tune it, yeah. I bet it takes twice as long to tune it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?
But yeah, I imagine how you probably do got to toughen your fingers up a bit more to smash all 12 of those strings down at one time. I bet those little thin strings, if it's an octave higher, I bet those little thin strings will slice you open. So when did you get the 12 strings? Did you just get it this year? Is it a birthday present or what? Got it last year. Cool. All right, guys, I gotta take a quick break. I'm gonna BRB. See you guys in just a few minutes. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, I like doing puzzles. Hard 
Are we talking jigsaw puzzles? I think this one still needs to be kind of wrapped around the <clears throat> deal. Yeah, I think I need to keep this look. All right, changing the back. Oh, you're trying to get somebody involved in doing these puzzles. I am painting, yes. This painting seems to have started out extra sloppy. I need to just do a little bit of painting on these limbs. Oh, there's a there's a website where you can do them together online. That's cool. I've had a few iPad apps in the past where I did them on my iPad. Doing them together online is cool though. Trying to fix this guy real quick. None of the apps do multiplayer yet. 
They're mostly just speaking of microtransactions. Yeah, I've definitely bought many pre, uh, puzzle packs through those iPhone uh, iPad apps. Some of them definitely better than others. Ugh. You haven't played in a long time, played guitar or played uh, jigsaw puzzles? All right, here. I probably should have worked out this branch more before I brought it over. There's always, there's usually something like that that I just lose patience. And don't do. It doesn't matter though.
Maybe it's like a broken branch. Got an Apple Pencil and should get some of the coloring apps. Yeah. Those seem like they're probably pretty, like, chill, relaxing. I haven't got one yet. I just got a, I just got, um, a newer iPad. I needed one, a new one. It's a sketch. It's kind of like my sketchbook. And, uh, yeah, I got... Apple Pencil with it, and my old one lasted a long time. I got like the first iPad Pro, the first generation iPad Pro, so that's at least seven years old, I think. And I just this year replaced it. All right, I think it's time to separate these layers out. Now that I've started to understand this painting a little better. Able to break it down a little bit, I think. I think we'll do some, probably a layer up here because this is just weird, just this little bit poking down. So I'm gonna like, see if I can make a shape out of this. Swings in like this. Too much like a tree. Yeah, maybe something like that. Like there's more of them up here. My first computer was an Apple. You guys bought me a computer when I was little that I didn't know how to use. That wasn't an Apple, was it? I really didn't get my first computer to work professionally until I was like 25, which probably sounds crazy to some people. Well, no, it doesn't. Everybody here is at least my age, so y'all know what I'm saying. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't really even touch a computer. Well, I had a computer when I was little, but I didn't know what to do with it. And then when I went to school for graphic design, that's really when I started to learn anything about computers. I feel like I was starting over. And I didn't even really know how to touch type until about 10 years ago. I, um, I was just do, I was doing, I did web design and graphic design, just hunting and pecking for a long time. And then when I first moved here, um, I was going up for a job at, in the production department of a paper. There's like a classified newspaper here. And um, I really wanted this job because I was like, I needed a job. And uh, I didn't know how to touch type. So I kind of like spent a couple weeks preparing for this interview with just trying to like teach myself how to touch type. Because I figured if I went in there and because there was a test to get this job. Turns out I didn't have to touch type, but still, I think I probably, it was a good move for me to learn how to touch type. Um, back in the dinosaur age, yeah. I mean, that computer was, yeah, it had to be in the 80s when I got that computer. I guess I was a little too small to um, do anything with it, right? 
All right, cool. So now we have this kind of separated out, and it's time for me to fix some of this shit that I've been trying to figure out since the beginning. What if there were a couple branches coming out like this, like one behind his face, and then one up here? I think maybe this would work, something like this. Going to eat dinner and watch Wheel of Time, so I guess you're probably... Okay, cool. I love you! We'll talk to you later. Thanks for coming by. It was good to talk to you. Um, and, yeah, we probably will be wrapping up here in a little bit. But, um, yeah. See you next time. And, yeah, I think our next stream... I did, to be determined, but I'll definitely let you know when we start working on that album cover. It's going to be very soon. I might I might do the thumbnailing process kind of on my own. So as to not subject everybody to that. Okay, cool. Exciting. Okay, so yeah, so like if uh, there was like the, the branch came but from behind him like this, it's like comes out and it splits off. We have to really show where it splits. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I can live with that. Like juts out like that, and then this one maybe does this. It seems a little weird, but not that weird. Everybody say bye to our friend Michelle. That's a really cool heart, by the way. I like the colors. Yeah, I think this one's too distracting, but this one... This one doesn't hurt my feelings too bad. What if they are? I mean, it is an alien planet. What if these tree branches are curly at the ends like this? a lot of curlies but if I can clean this up I think it might kind of work or you know in other words get these shapes nice and defined get rid of these crazy fingernails for now and probably have to redraw this hand because it's not working. Uh, I hope I still have a backup of this. Please tell me I kept a backup. Okay. Let's make sure we never ever get rid of this one. Put it back here for safekeeping. Alright, I'm going to redraw this hand. I'm going to see if I can Come up with something interesting for this hand.
Look at a slot's hand? Yeah. I'm just not sure if I want to model it after a slot's hand. I'm kind of feeling like I want to do like this three-fingered thing. But yeah, you're right. Looking at a slot's hand might inform me. I just have a feeling like I know what their fingernails look like. And I have a feeling that if I put those fingernails in here, it's going to be like one, two minutes. Like I like these, this idea of these branches, you know, like since the beginning, we've been kind of trying to think about something to make these trees look like they're from another planet. And I think that putting these curlies in here, I like that. It's just kind of a cool design element. So if I add some giant sloth fingers just not ready for it yet not ready for it but let's look at a sloth's hand they look like aliens definitely look at that huh i'm having deja vu like we did this before but let's like look at a at a sloth's hand yeah suction cups yeah, but maybe instead of suction cups, they've got like little barbs on them to, to grab those juicy fruits. All right, sloth hands. Have we done this before? No, we did this, we did this with a koala, that's right. What the hell? So they must have like little paws underneath here that have really long claws. Okay, so maybe the giant sloth hands. Yeah, so they've got, wow, that's badass looking. It's like their whole end of their finger becomes a fingernail. If they could move fast, they're like Wolverine. If they could move fast, they'd fucking mess you up, bro. Look at this guy. Yep, he definitely... He definitely was the backup bass player for the dead back in the 70s. All right. I think what we might do is we might use this design for his other feet, but then he's got his two front hands have different, different configuration, but all of the rest of his hands have like these claws. I think that's maybe that's what we'll do. Ha! Ah. Yeah, like Wolverine. Okay, we could probably look at sloth pictures of sloths all night. Look at that. That's a wet sloth. Is it from Earth? I'm not sure if it's from Earth. All right, so there's that. Yeah, maybe these will kind of be padded, but then... So I might keep this pink look to them like this. And then maybe the rest of these have like claws, but I'm not sure how I can fit them in. gonna really make this feel like it's coming at us what the hell 
Why is my brush acting weird? That's why. All right. So here is front layer. Not sure if I like that pink anymore. Here is the branch. All right, we're gonna bring back our clown. We're gonna get that and that. Then we're gonna do this and we're gonna duplicate that. Sorry guys, just trying to get my stuff together here. Okay, so that's that, and then what the hell? All right, there's the tree. There's the branch. There's the dude. Here's the other part of the dude. Dude. And then here's the other tree. I'm renaming layers I guess you guys can't see what I'm doing right now I'm renaming layers so I can figure out what I'm doing it's looking like the wild wild jungle I think it's a pretty good start So this branch is a little bit getting in the way, but all right, what was I going to do? I need to erase a little bit here. Man, my chat keeps getting behind. Here we go. What were we going to do? Oh yeah, we're going to see if we can figure out some sloth fingernails. Yeah, I think once we get some furries, I think what I'll do is I'll Damn, I think I like deleted stuff again. I was gonna say once we get once we get these arms sorted out a little bit better, it'll be easier to put some sloth fingernails in there.
I'm not sure if these this one this tree should be here or not anymore. It's feeling like it might be getting in the way a little bit. What the fuck? Or even if it's there, it needs to be a little bit of a separation. I think we need to see a little bit of sky there. Um, the berries should be brighter. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think, uh, yeah, I've got, let's see. Let's go back. Dragonfly colors, blue, green, purple, yellow. Get some beady texture. Maybe I've got kind of I've got kind of got some ideas for that. Um, the berries should be brighter. Yeah, the berries are going to be bright blue. They're definitely going to be the brightest thing in the painting. Sooner or later, they're going to probably be glowing. But uh, yeah, I haven't really got there yet, right? It's like I'm just starting trying to figure out the details and then. And then we're really going to start messing with the values because, yeah, it's definitely, you know, kind of a mess right now. Got shit running into each other. And so we're going to do something about that. Might move this tree off a little bit, you know. Yeah, but, uh, right, at the end, I think, at the end, the it's everything's going to be a little darker and then these... It's going to feel like a canopy in here, like like the trees are blocking out a lot of the light. And then these berries are going to be glowing like they're iridescent. Beady texture like Gila lizard skin. Yeah, maybe. I was thinking he might be furry, but maybe maybe just his hands are. Speaking of which, we've hardly touched this, touched this uh, expression on his face tonight. Let's see if I can get something interesting. With a couple of overlay layers at first. Uh, why is everything acting so weird? This, this kind of shit starts happening when I start having to deal with too many layers. Sloths always look like they're smiling. They do. Yeah, this guy will be looking a little bit cuter by the time it's all done with, definitely. I'm not completely convinced that this pink is going to work, but I think it's kind of cool as a base because it's exotic.
but we got to keep in mind that we're saving, trying to save some brightness for the berries at the end. So I try not to go too crazy. I try to like just slowly build things up. I do like the markings on Sloth's faces. Spots on his tail. Glow like the berry because that's why he eats them. Yeah. Like some part of his body glows blue. That's kind of cool. Like maybe the very tip of his tail. I definitely need a lot more. I need. Ugh, what is up with everything that I'm trying to do right now? I feel like these brushes are not agreeing with me tonight.
All right, maybe we'll call it a night and pick this up next week. I feel like I need to give the face some thought, but also like, I gotta, I gotta get some of these values under control here. It's really hard to tell what's going on here and I want to make it less like that. Everything's kind of light and there's not a lot of value range, but you know, we've got something. We got something going tonight. So I don't want it to be like exactly like a sloth, but because, you know, it's gonna be a different, from a different planet. But I also don't, you know, we definitely modeled him from a sloth, but. And I like, I'd like to use this sloth pattern on his face eventually, but we're just not quite there yet. Making them like grumpy and tired looking. I don't really like that. I think I like the I like the round eyes. More alien looking. Almost like he's a nocturnal beast. Yeah, I feel like I'm just getting a little bit burnt, a little bit crispy on what, looking at this right now. Looks nothing like a sloth. Yeah, I... I know. It's not a sloth. All right, guys. I'm going to call it a night. Love you. Thank you for coming. Be back next week. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna work on this um, next week, but we're gonna eventually finish it. But uh, I hope you'll be back next Wednesday. And um, yeah, thanks for coming to the stream. It was fun. It was fun. Good night, I love you guys. All right. Bye.